at the time of this video which is hopefully the 1st of April hopefully I can finish editing it by then you have 7 months left until your SPM so how do you go from failing at maths in Form 4 to getting an A in SPM? Um, please watch till the end for some extra tips for those of you who are watching this maybe like 2 months away from SPM Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can go from failing and match to not failing and if you try a little bit harder, getting an A. It is not impossible and I'll begin this video by telling you a story. So there was this boy who didn't like admats and he just didn't know what was going on. So his mother sent him to tuition, so he went to tuition but he still didn't know what was going on so he just went the tuition and sat there for hours without learning anything. So this routine went on for a few weeks and after that he realized that going there without learning anything is just a waste of his time and money. So one afternoon he sat down and tried to finish one question and it took him around one hour to get the answer but he felt very satisfied when he finally got the answer. So he tried another question and it took him more than half an hour to finish it. And day by day, he did more questions and he got so much better at it that one day he could finish a question in less than 5 minutes. And this boy grew up to become my AdMats teacher. My AdMats teacher actually told us this story and it inspired me because like if my AdMats teacher was bad at AdMats then it's definitely okay to suck at AdMats at first. So end of story, hopefully that story has inspired you. Now we'll go on with the video. So the first step is to buy this analysis per topic SPM partial questions. You can't do any of these steps if you don't go ahead and buy the book first. Well, you can but it just won't be as effective in my opinion because I think that the best way to improve AdMats is by doing partial questions. So just go get this book. The year doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the latest version because as I said before, the year doesn't matter, um, the style is always the same, only the numbers are changing, so get it any year you want. And the second step is to bring out your PAT and maths exam paper for Brexan Akhe Tahun from Form 4, assuming you're in Form 5 now, and analyze the paper thoroughly. You have to identify the questions that you got correct for, and by correct I actually mean full marks. So for those questions which you got full marks for, you have to know which chapters they are from. Now you can open up your analysis per topic book to the index where there is a list of chapters in Form 4. So for the chapters which you got full marks for, you can make a mark beside the chapters just so you know that you don't need to focus on those chapters yet. This does not mean that you can neglect those chapters completely, it simply means that you have more important chapters to focus on. Now you can go back and analyze that question paper again, but this time for the questions which you got zero mark for. So for the questions which you didn't even obtain one mark, you have to identify which chapters those questions are from. Now open up the analysis per topic book to the index again and highlight the chapters which you got zero marks for. Now when you open up to the index of the book, it will immediately be clear to you which chapters you need to focus on more and which chapters need more of your attention and time. Step 3 is to pick out a chapter from your highlighted chapters and attempt one question in the book. If you can't do that question, then refer to the answer. If you still can't understand the answer, just copy it down anyway but do not attempt to memorize the answer. For AdMats, there is no way you can do well if you just memorize the answer without knowing the way to get it. But um, do not put this question aside. Ask for help from your elder sibling or your friends or from your AdMats teacher. Ask them to explain to you until you fully know how to do the question and can get the answer on your own. Step 4 is to repeat everything in step 3 and do 5 questions of AdMats a day. All good things come from consistency which is why it is so important. 
no matter how busy you are on that day, make time to finish five questions of MS. Never skip the five questions of MS with the excuse that you're tired or you're sick of MS. Like if you want to get that A, then you have to put those excuses aside and really put in the effort. Let me tell you, there's literally no way that you can suck at something if you keep doing it every day. Get through all the chapters in MATS by using this method. You can start with the highlighted ones and then gradually move on to the other chapters. I just want to say that when it comes to MATS, it is really important to ask for help. Just staring at the question won't help you solve it, so go out and ask for help from other people, have them explain it to you. You have to be honest with yourself and really put in the effort. Yes, MATS is hard, but then you'll get better at it, okay? It's not too late to better your grades. Now, this section of the video is for those of you who are like watching this when it's around two months away from your SPM and you're panicking because there's too many things to read and you just don't know which ones to start with. Uh, I have picked out a few chapters which, in my opinion, is easier to score. So, for Form 4, the chapters which I picked out are quadratic function, simultaneous equation, circular measure, and solution of triangles. For Form 5, the easiest chapters are progression and vector. If you are really running out of time, then I suggest that you attempt to understand these topics first because they are easier and it's easier to score full marks for them as well. Just make sure that you understand those fully and score full marks for all the chapters that I have mentioned. So that's it for this video. I hope that this video has inspired you to work harder for admits to get that A in SBM. I know that a lot of people are struggling for admits, but it's really not that difficult if you really put the effort in it. And remember that success is the sum of repeated efforts. I wish you all the best in your admits preparation. If you have any questions regarding AdMats, then you can maybe comment them down below. I might do a video on AdMats Q&A. But like, don't ask me how to solve this question. You can ask about answering techniques and whatever else questions you might have. That's all I have to say for the time being. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!